Hey there guys, uh, doing something a little bit different here today. Um, I know that this is not an original video that like other people have done similar things, but you know, I just thought it might be interesting to those of you who are my subscribers and stuff to see uh, how I do my nails because I've gotten some comments. Um, I currently have just regular nail polish on. My favorite brand is Julep um, and it works really well for me. Here's, here's one I just have randomly. Um, they come in these bottles like this. It's like a subscription service. I'll go ahead and I'll post my link below. It is a um, promotional link where I would get like a kickback if you signed up, but I'm not trying to sell you on it. I just wanted to let you know, like this is the brand that I love because it really works for me. It lasts for like a good week. Um, I put this nail polish on third, no, Friday night uh, and it is currently Thursday. And yeah, I mean, there's some edge wear, tip wear, but um, yeah, it, it always lasts for like a full week on me, which I love because that way it just saves me time. I don't have to do my nails multiple times. And I'm the kind of person who um, really likes, um, like I I obsess over my nails and my cuticles and if they're not perfect, I'll pick at them. Um, and so if it's just a little bit off, I get a little bit of a chip, it like throws me off. Um, so I really appreciate that this brand works really well for me. But that's not what this video is about. Um, in this video, I'm actually going to be doing gel nails um, I had gotten gel nails done a couple times. The very first time I did it was for um, my wedding because I wanted to make sure my nails looked perfect and flawless and I didn't have to worry about them over my honeymoon. Um, and then I got them like before Comic-Con uh, this last year so that I wouldn't have to worry about them. But then I realized that like these lamps are not expensive anymore. I got this lamp, I'll post the link below. I got this lamp off Amazon for about 15 bucks. And it's an LED lamp, so they're, they're like the faster version that's, I think, probably better for you, like UV-wise. Um, and yeah, it uh, it's a little bit smaller than the ones they would use in the salon, so I do my thumbs separately, which I will show you. But it was 15 bucks for the lamp, and then I got these polishes at a local nail supply store, like a um, Vietnamese beauty store, or basically like the wholesale place that nail salons go to. So you can go there and like, it's open to the public. I don't know if wherever you are, your area has them, but um, here in Southern California, there's usually like a city that has a couple of them. Um, and so I got all of these gel polishes. I've got the base coat, top coat, and I got four colors. They were $6 a piece, which is not bad. Um, so six times six was 36 for four colors, plus the 15 here. I spent like $38 getting my my gel nails done at the salon and then the very first weekend I had this I did my nails my sisters my mom's my mother-in-law's I had already saved money so it just comes in this little box like this it's got some like instructions in here but it's got the lamp those are the the lights right there and it's actually I'll show you automatic but it's just a tiny little thing it's that big it has a plug here. It's a USB cable. So um, this end, you know, it's just the micro USB plugs in here. You could use any micro USB cable if you didn't have this one. And then the other end you can plug into the adapter and plug it into the wall. I have never actually done that because um, I find it more convenient when I'm at like a table in the kitchen or something, I'll just use a power bank like the kind that you use for like portable phone charging. Um, and when I'm here at my desk, I'm actually at my computer desk. So I'm just gonna plug this in to my computer and there we go, see it turns on. Um, it, like I said, it's automatic. So you turn it on, you, you stick your hand under and it turns on. Um, and then it stays on for, I believe 30 seconds and it flashes halfway through so that you know it's halfway through. Um, so that's how that works and yeah. There's, there's several that are similar. This one got good reviews. It was only 15 bucks, so I went for it. Um, yes, yeah, so like I said, this is normal polish, so it doesn't take any special um, remover. This is an acetone-based remover, but it's not like the pure acetone. And I'm just going to go ahead and remove this polish. Okay, so this is just, uh, yeah, my bare nails. This is about as long as I 
like to have them. So I also like have a chip here in the corner um, that I had to sort of file around. So if you, I don't know if you can tell, but like this side is more of the squircle shape and this side is all rounded because I had to file it away. So I want to be shaping these um, to make them a little bit shorter because with the gel polish, I'll be able to leave this on for about two weeks. And with that amount of growth, that would drive me insane. So I'm going to file these all the way down. Okay, um, I didn't explain, these are just emery boards that I got from Target, I think. And then these um, buffer blocks also I got from Amazon. They're pretty handy. They were, uh, they've got like a finer grid on one side and a, I don't know, stronger grid on this side. I'll link this below as well. All right. So uh, now I've got nail dust everywhere. Um, I'm going to give my nails a wipe down with this rubbing alcohol. This is the same alcohol I used in the um, sticky tape video. Alcohol is your best friend when you're doing these nails. And you just want to make sure as best you can that you're not getting like lint or dog hair um, on your nails or leaving it there. And this just gets rid of the... Um, nail dust and um, like oils and stuff like that. I'm trying to get like underneath as well. Um, I'm just gonna be doing one hand at a time because um, it dries as soon as it's cured, but in between coats, it's got like the sticky residue. So it's just tidier um, to not have to worry about switching hands just kind of grabbing these little bits of fluff. Um, they say you should use like a, a lint-free alcohol pad. I just use cotton rounds and these cotton squares. Um, and yeah, I do get little bits of lint. So take that for what it's worth. I just, it's cheaper and it's what I have on hand. So that's what I use. Um, this is my favorite little friend here. This is just a brush. Um, it's Elf brand, E-L-F. Um, they sell this at Target and they are $1 for this brush. It's a concealer brush and it looks like that. And this thing is great for cleaning up your edges, but I'm kind of using it here to get my uh, bits of fluff out of the way. Don't want those stuck on there. Okay, so we've got base coat color and this is a chocolate sort of sparkly chocolate brown color it's called coffee sorry here's the color thought it would be good for the fall I'm not sure when this video is going out but I'm filming it in the fall and then here's the top coat so base coat first and like I said um, you can't really fit all five fingers in here at once so I'll do these fingers and then the thumb like that so base coat just a Got this nice little short brush. It makes things really easy to control. So I'll just apply that. And wrap your tips, which means I'm not sure what everyone's level is. Um, wrapping your tips means putting a little bit of polish, like swiping the brush across the end of your nail like that so that you get um, a little bit a bit of fuzz there Ooh. 
so that you uh, sort of have like a cap along the end. It just helps things wear a lot longer. You want to be really sure that you don't get any on your cuticles and if you do you want to clean that up before you cure it because before it's cured it will not dry but after it's cured you really can't fix anything so i'm kind of using this i'm going to use this brush again with just the alcohol there you go All right, so there's the four fingers and I'll stick that under the gel lamp. Um, you wanna make sure that your bottle is capped and closed, at least not like open um, when your lamp is on, especially if you're setting it over here. Um, this light will cure the polish that's on the brush and then you'll ruin your brush and you can't use that anymore. So just 30 seconds. All good. Um, when I'm doing someone else's nails, I do fingers, fingers, thumb, thumb. So while these fingers are curing, I'd be painting these. And so it goes really fast. When I'm doing it for myself, I have to wait until I am done because when, like when these are in here, I can't do my thumb because it'll hit, get hit by the light and it'll dry. So now we do my thumb. You don't want to do too thick of a coat of the base coat, especially because if you have a really thick coat, it actually kind of burns under the lamp and can kind of hurt a little bit and sort of damage you uh, if it's too thick. Isn't this beautiful? There's a lot of waiting involved. But then no waiting involved at the end. So that's something. That's like one of the best things. That and how long it wears. All right, next up, we use the color. And we're gonna do at least two coats, probably two coats of this. Um, let me shake it up a little bit. I find with these uh, kind of sparkly colors that the pigment kind of settles. So you gotta make sure to give it a really good shake. Or at least it was kind of settled when I bought it, but who knows how long it had been on the shelf. All right. I mean, this pretty much applies just like any regular nail polish. And I just like to be very careful to avoid, ooh, others. Bit of fluff there. What was I saying? Oh yeah, you gotta be careful to keep it off your cuticles because like I said, you have to make sure to clean your cuticles after every single coat. Like when you use regular polish, I usually don't bother cleaning my cuticles until the very end. Like after my top coat or maybe before my top coat so I can let it sort of dry before the top coat. But anyway, um, here you have to make sure to clean your cuticles after every single layer, including the base coat, top coat, um, before you cure. And I recommend using the um, alcohol to clean your cuticles. It kind of, the color kind of seems to run away if you use acetone, but acetone works too. But you're going to need to use the alcohol um, before and after anyway. You have to have it on hand, so you may as well use it since you have it out. And leave acetone just for removal.
four fingers. Cleaning up your edges, I would say, is like the number one skill when you're learning to do your nails by yourself. Um, you can, like, sometimes you don't need to if you're good enough and precise enough that you can get, um, you know, your polish applied with not touching your cuticles at all. Um, but that takes practice. And in the meantime, you still want your nails to look good, otherwise you'll get discouraged. And just investing a dollar in this little brush, some pure acetone, it works really great for regular polish, the alcohol works fine for this. Um, and just, yeah, you just clean up around the edges and then you have a really nice clean manicure no matter what. No one will ever know what a mess you made the first time. all right so we've got one full coat um and you can see it's pretty good it's uh pretty opaque but i'm definitely gonna do a second coat um and it's exactly the same i think i'm gonna fast forward through this part All right, oh, see what I mean about the sticky residue? Um, there is sort of like a, it's not, it's not sticky, but it's kind of like a almost greasy feeling that's on there. So you don't really want to touch that. Um, and we'll clean it off at the end, but it doesn't matter what's in between. All right, finally, we do the top coat. And yeah, this is just a top coat. And you just want to make really sure that you're finished like the um you don't have any bubbles or streaks but the great thing about the gel is it's pretty self-leveling um it does not dry quickly like it doesn't dry at all um and so you don't get that like streakiness it's really self-leveling because yeah it just sits there waiting for you to cure it You don't really have to lay it on too thick. It's really great that you can kind of fix mistakes too. You know, if you do something terribly wrong on one layer, uh, you can just remove that layer with uh, alcohol before it's cured and everything below it stays perfectly fine. So it's quite forgiving really um, as long as you make sure everything's perfect before you cure it. And if you could see my view from here um, you can see like the polish the top coat kind of glows like in the black light it's pretty fun. Okay, and so now that we are completely done with all the layers, um, all we have to deal with is the sticky residue on top. Um, let me see if I can kind of show you. Here's just a dry cotton ball and how it kind of, I don't know if you can see that, but basically just believe me, you gotta, you gotta wipe it with alcohol. So this is the same old alcohol 
uh, same cotton square. And you just give it a little bit of a rub. And don't have to worry about the fuzzies now because like, you know, you just go wash your hands and you're done. And everything is cured and ready to go. You can, you know, reach for your keys and jump in the car. You can go wash your hair, or do the dishes and like everything is in place and gorgeous. And um, yeah, like I said, when I do it with my, by myself, for myself, on myself, uh, I do one hand at a time just so that I can focus. Um, it does take a little bit longer, uh, including the filing, which took the longest period of time. Up to this point, I've spent about an hour filming. Um, obviously it wasn't that bad for you because uh, you got to fast forward through all of that. The filing really took the longest. That was about half an hour of filing. Um, that's why I hate filing my nails. But um, yeah, so about half an hour, I guess, to do one hand. And then this other hand is probably going to take me another 15 minutes or so just to do the polish at least. Um, but you know, that's not that bad. And the fact that it lasts me two weeks really of wear without chipping or anything, um, I think it's really great. And it's so much cheaper to do it at home and really not that difficult. Um, like I said, I will link below this um, lamp the Sensationale gel LED lamp. Um, I got it from Amazon for like 15 bucks. It, it probably ranges from like 11 to 20. I don't know, whatever you can find, but um, just look for like an LED one because they're faster. Um, and then you don't have to have your hand under the UV for as long, less likely to cause cancer. So that's good. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Removal is a whole separate thing. Um, that probably takes me another hour at the end of this just to wrap everything in foil. Um, if you want to see me do that, maybe I will. Comment below. Otherwise, um, if you need to know right now, just search YouTube for um, gel, soak off gel removal, foil method, something like that, and you'll see. That's what I have all this aluminum foil for and the pure acetone. It does dry you out. But I think it's worth it personally, and I really like having this as an option uh, when I want a longer lasting manicure. So thank you guys for watching. I'm just gonna, uh, I think I'll, I'll do this one and then I'll turn on the camera just for a couple seconds and say goodbye so you can see that I really do, um, I really will do my other hand. Okay. Okay, thank you guys again for watching. Um, the links are in the description box and all of your questions can go in comments uh, and I will see you guys in the next one. Love you, bye. Thank you.